This is bad. Flight 6 is likely to be delayed even further. This confirmation comes directly from SpaceX and its president, Gwyn Shotwell. What caused the delay and when can we expect the next launch? In this episode, we also discuss an exciting update regarding SpaceX's partnership with Impulse Space. Founded by former SpaceX engineer Tom Muller, Impulse Space has successfully secured three Falcon 9 flights for important upcoming missions. In other industry news, Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket, still awaiting its first launch, has been selected for an exciting satellite mission. Stay tuned as we explore all of this and more on today's episode of NR Studio. We are all eagerly counting down to the launch of Flight 6, the fourth Starship flight of the year, with high expectations. This mission promises to build on the success of Flight 5 and open up new possibilities for SpaceX's future. Flight 6 was originally scheduled for Monday, November 18th. However, the timeline has undergone some changes recently. On November 15th, SpaceX announced via X that it was targeting Tuesday, November 19th for Starship's sixth test flight with a 30-minute launch window opening at 4 p.m. CT, the update was reflected on SpaceX's website, confirming the revised launch time. Interestingly, the announcement came shortly after similar remarks by Gwen Shotwell at the 31st Annual Barron Investment Conference, where she mentioned that Tuesday would be the new target for Flight 6. Hence, the rescheduling has come to light. Notices regarding road closures from SpaceX indicated that a wet dress rehearsal was scheduled for the 17th. With just one day to go before the original launch date of November 18, considering the steps required after the WDR, including destacking, installation of the flight termination system, and execution of final full-stack assembly, achieving a launch within a single day seemed logistically challenging. On Flight 5, for example, there was nearly three days between de-stacking and final full-stack assembly. While recent images show progress on the FTS installation, additional system checks and preparations still need to be completed before launch. While it is disappointing that Flight 6 will not be taking place on November 8th, the anniversary of Flight 2, it is important to be well prepared for success. This flight is a significant milestone as it involves landing the super heavy booster on Mechazilla for the second time and performing a controlled vertical landing with the ship. The mission also requires the ship to reignite its engines in space and survive re-entry, including in an area without the protection of the heat shield, so careful preparation is essential. In the end, the delay is only a small one-day delay. The suspense will only heighten the excitement of watching this colossal rocket launch and return. In preparation for the Wetris exercise, SpaceX has been conducting a rigorous series of tests. On November 15, the team successfully completed a grid fin test with Booster 13, an abort test with Booster 13 and Ship 31, and a detonation countermeasures system test. These activities demonstrate SpaceX's unwavering commitment to ensuring a successful flight. Now let's dive into the exciting collaboration between SpaceX and Impulse Space. Impulse Space, established by ex-SpaceX engineer Tom Muller, has achieved a significant milestone by reserving three Falcon 9 launches for the deployment of its high-energy orbital transfer vehicles, Helios, commencing in 2026. Of those launches, one of the missions will support the U.S. Space Force, showcasing Impulse Space's growing role in the commercial and national security sectors. The agreement was finalized with a contract signing on November 14th, which ensures that each Falcon 9 mission will carry a Helios transfer vehicle, an advanced thrust stage designed to revolutionize the delivery of payloads to high-energy orbits. The first mission in the series is scheduled for mid-2026 and will involve a smaller vehicle, Mira, designed to transport commercial optical payloads from low Earth orbit to geostationary transfer orbit. This mission, titled Victus Sargo, will provide services to the U.S. Space Force and the Defense Innovation Unit, marking a significant step in orbital transfer technology. Impulse Space has been awarded a $34.5 million contract for Victus Sargo, as well as a follow-up mission called Victus Salo, with details on the timing and payload to be determined at a later date. The contract underscores the confidence placed in Impulse Space's capabilities by both the commercial and defense sectors. Eric Romo, President and Chief Operating Officer of Impulse Space, 
articulated the company's vision for Helios during the announcement. Securing this launch allows us to showcase the full potential of Helios. Rapidly and economically delivering spacecraft to high-energy orbits is a paradigm shift for commercial operators of communications and national security missions like Victus Sargo. The Helios vehicle represents a significant leap forward in space propulsion technology powered by the Deneb engine, which Impulse Space considers a revolutionary development in the field. Deneb employs an oxygen-enriched stage combustion cycle complemented by a high-expansion nozzle yielding an impressive thrust of 15,000 pounds. This makes it one of the most advanced liquid oxygen in methane-fueled engines ever built, with the capability to perform highly efficient and rapid orbital transfers. The engine's capabilities are critical to Helios' promise to revolutionize the economics of delivering payloads to orbits. Helios' maiden launch will take place aboard SpaceX's historic LC-39A launch vehicle at Kennedy Space Center. Consistent with previous SpaceX missions, including the IAM-1 lunar lander, Helios will be fueled with liquid oxygen and liquid methane prior to launch. This method aligns with SpaceX's push to adopt sustainable and efficient propellants across its platforms. Stephanie Bednarik, Vice President of Commercial Sales at SpaceX, emphasized the importance of this partnership, stating, We are honored that Impulse Space has selected Falcon 9 to launch these exciting missions. We share Impulse's goal of making space more accessible to those seeking a journey to orbit, and we look forward to collaborating with their team once again. This collaboration is a testament to Falcon 9's continued dominance as SpaceX's go-to vehicle for a variety of missions. While attention is often focused on Starship's potential to redefine space exploration, Falcon 9 remains an integral part of SpaceX's operations. Its proven track record of reusability, precision, and reliability underscores its position as a key player in both commercial ventures and government partnerships. These partnerships underscore the continued importance of Falcon 9 in bridging current missions to the future of space exploration. While the potential of Starship is highly anticipated, Falcon 9 remains a critical pillar for critical missions like Helios. Let's explore the latest updates on Blue Origin's New Glenn and its latest mission announcements. AST Space Mobile, a Texas-based startup with aspirations to develop a direct-to-cell phone satellite service, has selected Blue Origin's New Glenn as the launch vehicle for its next-generation Block 2 Bluebird satellites. In a statement released on November 14, AST Space Mobile confirmed that New Glenn and its other existing launch vehicles will deploy up to 60 satellites throughout 2025 and 2026. Abel Avalon, founder, chairman, and CEO of AST Space Mobile, expressed confidence in Blue Origin's capabilities. New Glenn's performance and unprecedented capacity inside a 23-foot fairing will enable us to launch more Block 2 Bluebird satellites into orbit, supporting the continued delivery of mobile broadband services in some of the world's most demanding mobile markets. The next-generation Block 2 Bluebird satellites will be significantly superior to the company's first five Bluebird spacecraft, which launched aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 in September. Known for their massive 700-square-foot communications array, the upcoming Block 2 satellites will feature a massive 2,400-square-foot array capable of delivering up to 10 times the bandwidth of their predecessors. The satellites are part of AST Space Mobile's plan to launch a total of 168 spacecraft with the goal of providing direct global connectivity to everyday smartphones. Key markets include the United States, Europe, Japan, the U.S. government, and other strategic regions. However, the startup faces stiff competition, most notably from SpaceX's Starlink broadband service. Blue Origin CEO Dave Limp said, It is an honor to support the deployment of AST Space Mobile's next-generation Bluebird satellites, which will expand connectivity around the world and have a significant positive impact on countless lives. New Glenn is purpose-built for these kinds of innovative and ambitious missions. While the partnership is a promising achievement, Blue Origin faces significant challenges. Despite nearly 25 years of development, New Glenn has yet to reach orbit. A maiden flight was originally scheduled for late 2024, but delays in preparation and regulatory approvals have cast doubt on that schedule. Since its maiden voyage, New Glenn has several high-profile missions on its schedule including NASA's Mars spacecraft launch 
and fulfilling a contract under the National Security Space Launch Program. Every step toward operational readiness is critical, as New Glenn must prove its mettle to secure a foothold in a highly competitive market. Competition is fierce from industry leaders like SpaceX, whose Falcon rockets dominate orbital launches. New entrants like Rocket Lab, if they don't show clear progress in the near future, will keep Blue Origin's ability to make a significant contribution to the space race in the spotlight. That's it for today's episode. See you in the next one.